All right, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? We're back. Sean Flippin' Archer in the house. And Dub. No, it's not Dub. Wah. Wah. All right, fine. It's Dorian Wolf. If you're going to be Dub, I'm going to be Peter Pan. Oh, you don't know. That's, that's terrible. Coming up first on this uh, July 18th edition of Infado, we got Jason vs. Clutch for the TV title. Ooh. Look at it all pretty red. Uh-huh. Gets me all excited. Absolutely. I tweaked my nipple. Yep. I mean, hey, never no, mind. Nothing wrong with that. Jason making his way out here. I, I like the way Jason's uh, gotten a little darker ever since he kicked all the other Jasons out of the PWA. I've been hearing some rumors that this, the, the Ninkin Poops are going to try to... Like, not be Ninkin Poops no more. Is that right? I don't know. I'm wondering because you got Venom Rick Rental. He's in their ear talking to Slick Jerry in the back there. I like the Ninkin Poops. Well, they're not too great, but they're not too bad either. Yeah. They're better than they were. If they go back to being the convict, I'm going to be in the inmate. I'm going to be annoyed. Me too. Who wants to see that crap? You don't do that. Sons of bees. This dude is scary looking now. He is. A bit more vicious since he took those other Jasons out. Even though, even though they, uh, most of them just re-signed deals and became other wrestlers. Except for Big Ass Jason, he left. Yeah. That's fine. Big Ass can leave anyway. As long as the Kool-Aid one's gone, I'm good. Well, he's kind of gone. Well, it's not Kool-Aid no more, right? Yeah. That's, no, that's no. all I want. Nope, the Kool-Aids. That was freaking me out. They're the butchers now, Attila and Khan. Yeah. They're a pretty good tag team, too. I'm enjoying it. I heard that Austin James is not fond of Clutch. And now that I know that, I like Clutch. <laughs> Anything Austin likes, I don't. Hey, I don't blame you one bit. He's a bully. He is. I don't like him. Me either. Don't tell him that, though. He's scum, even though he's not in scum. He's, you know what I mean. I'm telling. Dang it. Yeah, you're right, Bert. Uh, nobody isn't here today. It's kind of weird that you say that because it's okay. More money to be back. More money for us, Dorian. That's right. We can we can slide Bert a couple dollars too. You can't expect to get paid all the time when he's never here. That's true. He's out there buying up all those bridges. Well, I, I don't know, Bert. That's a question you need to ask nobody when he comes back. Yeah, even though it was a couple weeks ago, I forgot to ask you. How was your 4th of July? Well, it was wonderful. Was it? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I stayed at home. Yeah. I don't like loud noises. I went out. Very cool. I've seen, cool. seen some fireworks. It was actually a couple guys with sparklers, but, you know. Well, that's okay. The neighbor kids, they had sparklers outside, waving them around and such. I had to scream to get off my lawn a couple times, but uh, can't. Yes. What does nobody do? Get off my bridge? Probably, but that could probably turn into a, a lawsuit <coughs> or something. It's his bridge, isn't it? It is, but if you got people jumping off the top of it, yeah. Wait a minute. I thought under the bridge was his property. He can't like people got to drive over the bridge. He doesn't own that, does he? Or I don't he, think so. Or people have to pay a toll, like the old days. It might be a toll bridge. That's man, he'd be making a killing. That's what I'm no saying. No wonder he's never here no more. He makes more money on his toll bridge. Yep. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I want that job. And no, Bert, you're not working for him. Just sit down. Yes. You're rather quiet, Bert. Why don't you ever talk? It's when you quiet once in a while. When you do, how come only Dorian hears you? That is a good point. He said it's because that you're just not paying attention to it. I don't think he exists. Well, I don't know about that. Jason hammering away on clutch to start off. Kick to the glee. Yes, he don't do that. Do that. And uh, actually, you know, this is this is a good test here too. Jason's no slouch. Absolutely not. You just thought it's, it's dangerous because Jason feels no pain. Mm -hmm. He's got a, a good move set here. You, you thought he'd actually had more success over the years as far as titles, but he really hasn't. No, I uh, well, 
you forget about his phase of drinking with Crystal James back in the day. Yeah. That didn't help him too much. Not at all. And I, back and I think he's a little more focused on hurting people than he is trying to win titles. I think you're right, because I think he enjoyed it a little bit too much taking all those Jasons out. Yeah, and uh, if he was focused on winning titles, I think he'd be like a ten-time champ probably. But he just oh, absolutely. He, I don't think he cares about the title. I think he just wants to hurt people. Yep. That's why he gets why he came here. I don't even think he got hired. I think just one day he just came out of the woods and said, "Hey, PWA." That's probably where he found the beer. Yeah. Then he. Oh, Kippa. And he's the reason Crystal James and Austin got a divorce. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. That son of a bee. He can never, yeah, he can never find her. I can never find her either. He had me out there looking for her. Man. She was in the woods drinking with Jason all the time. Son of a bee. Then you see her come back and she's got a mask on. That's terrible. It is. That's okay. Big headbutt to Jason there. He deserves it, the son of a bee. Choking away. He does deserve it. I don't think that's going to do much. Freaking wife stealer. Yeah. Go home, you thief. <laughs> go home because you scare me more mostly. That's, pro that's probably mostly why yeah. I want him to go. What we got here? Family, one. Family killer. Two, and three. Another. Clutch sinks another victory. Wow. 4 2 1 is just rolling right now. Yes, they are. They got the tag champs. They got the cruiserweight champ. Man, they, they are. They're kicking some butt. Did you see that? I'll, that well, the altercation, but that little backstage area with Austin and OCJ and Clutch. What was yeah, that about, man? I don't know. That was weird. That was very weird. What the hell is DBA? I don't know. Uh, no, it's not I don't know. It's DBA. Oh, okay. It's, it's, I don't know is IDK. Shut up, Dorian. Sorry, sirs. DBA. I got it instantly. Donuts, now. beer, and apples. I like it. That's what that is. Speaking of apples, I got a rumor. How you like them apples? Here comes little ass Jameson. So this used to be little ass Jason? Yes, it did. Um, he should have kept the mask on. I think so. Yeah, he's a little freaky to me. A little bit, but he's going to be going up against Legacy, and rumor has it, Legacy is no longer with Reverend Payne. Well, you know, we at one time I thought Reverend would be good for his career, but... Reverend wasn't really doing anything. He just Not standing really. out there. It's kind of weird. Oh, another Wearing thing the same too. Suits. I seen uh, something about was, looks like Ruby starting to take over his uh, group there. Yes, he is. With scum. You know, I think I think that he's ready to show his dominance. It's about time. Yes, it is. Rumor has it we'll see some changes coming very very soon. And not in the form of little ass Jameson. Don't tell him I called him little ass. He wants to go by badass Jameson. Yeah, he's a little he, ass. Us. He is. I mean, look at him. He's a little ass. I'm looking forward to Lola and uh, Lady Love. Me too. I cannot wait. No, that's going to be a slobber knocker. I, I bet you anything. They're one. They wait are one of the best matches of the night. You hear that music? Uh, what the hell? Well, looks like Scum of the Earth picked up another member. Here comes Legacy. What the heck? Well, oh, I guess we were right. No longer with the Reverend, decided to take a turn to the dark side. That's a, that's a business decision right there, buddy. Absolutely it is. He's like, you know, he was, he was actually doing really well there. But he knows right there, this is kind of like a cheat code to the top. Not only that, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe that uh, Legacy and Ruby have a history. They do. Pretty close, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And the thing is... So it makes sense. Well, you know, if you want to take a shortcut to the top, this is the way to do it. Absolutely. And why wouldn't you? But rumor has it, he's not the only one. I guess there might be a couple more scum members coming. Really? Only time will tell. They're well, probably beefing up their ranks to uh, protect themselves. The ever-changing PWA. you got to love it, man. Absolutely. You, you blink, you miss a couple, a week or two, 
Everything's turned upside down. I love, that's what I love about this. It's it's a blast. You just never know what's gonna happen. Big clothesline by Little Jameson. You Little can't ass. predict it, and that's what makes it fun. Absolutely. Because if every week we out here predicting what's going on, the fans can predict it. No one's gonna watch, you know. No. Keep the wit. Don't do that. Don't do that. I will say, Legacy look, looked a bit more confident. I didn't think that was possible. Wouldn't you be if you had a group like that behind you? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I'm I'm just a Sean Archer. I ain't nobody. But if I had to go with the earth walking around with me, Absolutely. I'd be a big shot. I'd walk around like I own the place. Well, you remember that uh, one group from that other promotion, DX, when they had Nick Patrick, the referee. Yeah. And then you had the, uh, what was it, the, uh, the NWO with the New Age Outlaws. What? What? That's nothing. Never mind. I didn't keep up on wrestling too much back then. I think you're getting groups mixed up there, buddy. I might be. Choking Legacy a little yeah, bit. Is. Lock up. Takes him over to the corner to bust his nugget. You think that, you know, just we can program these guys to not lock up so much. Not that they can be programmed, but... Yeah, well, yeah. of course. If they could. If they could be programmed, that's what I'd like, I'd like to see happen. Yep. Ooh, Ooh. big guillotine. Yeah, it is. Take that. You know, rumor has it over the next few weeks, a lot of our tag matches are going to be uh, Extreme Rules. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, well, it, partly to do with uh, our parent company and their patch update screwed shit up. I hate what happens. Me too. Me too. Those matches never ended, Bert. You're right. And they were crazy. Shut up, Bert. No one will ask you. Well, I guess he told you, Bert. I'm going to beat Bert up if I ever find him. Yeah, me too. Yeah, four count almost now. Yep. There you go. I was talking trash to Ruby. That's not smart. No. Now, if you were big ass Jameson, that'd be one thing, but little ass Jameson's gonna get his little ass kick. Yes. Even if it's big ass Jameson. <laughs> it's just too many guys, man. Yep. That's true. You got Sean Painlayer out there, he's a beast. Ruby's a beast. Loco is unpredictable as hell. Yeah, you just never know. In in Legacy. Legacy is a solid threat. Double arm DD. Oh, I'm a solid threat too. You are? Oh, shot the crap out of you, door. Calm down, sir. Gee, where'd that come from? I don't know. Stop taking steroids, man. I guess so. Get a little violent. If nobody was here, I'd, I'd say moist over and over again. <laughs> moist mustache. I, I just know I that's, hey, that'd be a great character. And then nobody's, <laughs> nobody's got to say it. Well, hopefully Jeremy's listening to that. You know he is. That guy's a jerk. Friggin' guy. Yeah. Nobody likes Jeremy. No. I don't even think he does. Nope. He's a son of a bee. Whips little ass Jameson into the little ass ring there. I'm playing Jane. The little little ass hop skip. Up. Little ass hop skip. Little ass fork into the tongue. <laughs> okay, no. Yeah, thank you. I'm done. Snapping a mud hole in him. Rolling him over. Patty cake, patty cake. Two. Three. three. Take that. Done and over with. You know, I really, yeah. I really didn't think that he could be any more confident than he was, but yes. you can tell he feels he feels comfortable with these guys. Scums and going in the right direction now. Yes it is. Maybe they, they maybe uh, they just needed Austin to leave. Maybe, maybe, maybe they were trying to live in the past and it wasn't working. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the problem is is Austin's such this this you know no pun intended icon mm -hmm. of the business. I think when he's around, I think they just look to him way too much. Yep. And without him, they got to step up now. Absolutely. You know, sometimes having that much greatness around you, you can just ride the coattails and not even mean to. Yes, indeed. You've Here been comes. doing it for years. Oh, my. Look at these nincompoops. Hey, wait a minute. What? What? I don't know. Why are they dressed like this? 
It's the Nincompoop Warriors! That's awesome! What a rush. <laughs> That's great. See, oh, I like these goodness. guys. That's awesome. Not me. These guys annoy me. All right. Friggin' nincompoops. Yes. Mario. Hazel. Don't you get rid of these guys. I love them. Here comes Mario into the ring now. I rub my nipples to him every night. I, I mean, bet you do. Wait, what? Nothing. Jeez Louise. Look at that. You can't tell me that's not awesome. Uh, I mean, they're not the real road warriors, though. But look at them. They look pretty good, though. Yeah, but... That's not bad. Then they're going to wrestle, and they're going to screw it up. Yeah, that could be. They're going to be taken on... But what if they just turn into a... It was a great tag team all of a sudden. That's true. It's possible. Yeah. They'll be taking on Venomous. Alex Crow and Rick Reynolds. Venomous. Mm hmm. They do look like dorks, Bert. Yeah. You were absolutely right. See, Bert ain't so bad. Let's Good see guy. if these guys can do anything, though. They are brothers. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Poor Venom. Hey, I feel hey, bad for him. Have that as your brother. Hey, at least he put the Venom suit on and not the, uh,. Singlet? Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine Venom coming out in a Canadian singlet? Look at the Nincompoops going right after him. Yes, they are. Maybe they do have some extra fight in them. I'm telling you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I think we should keep these guys like this. Well, you never know. If they win, I'm going to dress like this next week. Next week. Where are you going to get those shoulder pads? I can find them. You can't find those. I those have, are one-of-a-kind state-of-the-art. I have eBay. Oh, yeah. Take that. I forgot about eBay. About anything on eBay. All right, tell you what. If they win, I'll go on Timu and get myself one, too. All right. Well, who are you going to be? Uh, one oh. of the Road Warriors. Dumb, dumb. I'm going to be Animal. All right, I'll be Hawk. Good. Hawk. Just Hawk, not Hawk Tua. Not Hawk Tua? No, just Hawk. You're going to be the Hawk Tua girl, aren't no, you? No, I'm not. I knew it. Spit on that thing. No. Speaking of which, this I was... This match hasn't even started yet, has it? No, they haven't even gotten the ring yet. They haven't. Oh, Mario's getting involved. It's me, I'm Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Slick Gerald there. Man, these guys are making short work of Venomous. They, they look better. They I'll tell you, you put, the, you put on the uh, Road Warriors outfits and you turn into them. Ain't that I something? I guess so. They're the best they've looked. There they go. Now they're in the ring. Lock up. Boy James uh -oh. says, oh, look at that choke slam. Damn, right off the bat. Didn't go for the cover. That was a mistake. Big elbow drop. Yes, it was. Even though Venom isn't who he used to be, he's still a veteran in there. Yeah. And at one time, he was one of the greats. Venom, I think Venom just needs a boost from somebody. I, you know, because you watch him in the ring, he's still got the talent. I just think the fire's gone. Yeah. He needs somebody to get the fire back. Yeah. No, I don't disagree with that at all. But who could that be? Alex I don't think, Crow. I don't think Crow's going to bring that out of him. I don't think so No. Either. I think he can bring it out of Crow a little bit. I think Venom needs to, yeah, something needs to happen here. Yeah. Now they're sitting there talking trash to each other. I don't think good old Robbie was too impressed with if what he, Venom had If to he say. wasn't one of those guys that, that was meant to be alone, I'd say ABA would be the guy to do it. But That would actually be a real decent tag team. And there's a three count. Alex Turd wins. Wow. Son of a... This oh. is a bunch of crap. I wanted to wear that outfit, too. What? Crows? Mm. No. The Road Warrior outfit. Oh. They didn't win. Thought you meant you wanted to wear crows. I'm like, no, you don't. You didn't wash that. Well, thing. they the crow won, so we got to wear the singlets next week. Canadian? Yep. Son of a. I'm going to look like a bunch of Canadian bacon walking out here with my fat ass. I'm not going to do it. What? Nothing. What'd you say? I didn't say a word. Are you sure? Uh huh. All right. Well, I'm going to order my singlet. Hey, Juarez Warhead coming out. 
Looks like he's taking on Ninja. The Ninja. The, the good the, Ninja. The good Ninja. Not yes. the old pointy nose one that sucked. Ninja. Yep. Where did we ever get that dude from? I don't know, but we had some real, real turds. We did. Like that, uh, what was his, Tony Hale. Yes, yeah, swimming pool guy. The swimming pool guy. He's He applied to work at the PWA, and Hazel said absolutely and made him a secretary. That's great. Yep, that's right where he fits in. Good old Tony Hale. I'd, I would take Danny Brakes over Tony Hale, Ninja, Jester, and Ghost. Oh, yeah. I'm glad Ghost is gone. Me too. Me too. But you never know. Could always come back. Mm -mm. He's banned for life. Good. If there's ever another ghost, it'll be a new ghost. I made, I made that call. I like that I don't know call. if I got the power to do that, but I'm doing it. Hey, I'm digging it, man. Yep. That guy's a freaking turd. I don't like him. Now, this looks more like a real ninja. Yes, it does. And he's, he's got skill when he's in there, too. Yeah. The only time that he's come up with losses is usually for uh, title matches. Now, if this ninja would have showed up. Oh, that would have been. From the get-go, yes. That would have been, been something badass. great. Yeah. But, no, nah, we had to get. We had to get that. We had to get Pinocchio. Nerd. Why did he wear that nose? I don't I understand. I don't know. what He sucked. Out there trying to be Steve Blackman and shit. Yeah, he was pathetic. Yeah, I'm not a fan. He was completely pathetic. What was his name? Probably Ninja. Gary. Gary. Gary Smith. Sounds sounds generic enough. Gerald. Gerald. Good old Gerald. Man, big size difference between these two competitors. Oh, yeah. Mr. Fuji Jr. absent today from Ninja's Corner. Not too sure what's up with that. See that? One, two, only a two count. Mr. Fuji. He's probably conducting business elsewhere. Oh, missed that big moonsault. And then he shows him how it's done with that springboard drop kick. Especially seeing how we brought him back from the dead. Exactly. Oh, it's Mr. Fuji Jr. Oh. It's Mr. Fuji's son. Okay. It makes more sense that way. It does. I for a minute there, I was like, wondering what the heck we were doing here. Yeah. Well, it turns out that the uh, talent relations department actually started looking on Wikipedia before they started signing wrestlers to contracts. Wow, that Diamond. was quick work. Yeah, it was. Good job, Ninja. Yep, he's he's impressive. See, even without Fuji out here, he's he's pretty solid. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure that you know he's gotten a lot of a lot of uh, training and assistance from Mr. Fuji. Probably has. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Mr. Fuji's one of the his father was one of the greats. You know, he was. And doesn't surprise me that his son would be too. Inferno. Up next, our main event, we got Loco vs. Nomad. Ooh. That gets me excited. May me I too. say I'm a little moist? Oh, yeah. Right on your mustache. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, that doesn't sound good at all. That sounds terrible. Moist mustache? Yeah. That's terrible. Loco coming out with Rat Bastard. Mouse bitch. Yeah. Loco's been kind of complacent lately with Scum of the Earth also. Kind of has been. Well, not if he same. doesn't step up, one thing we know, Ruby Void will get him out of there. Oh, absolutely. If, if, if Ruby truly is taking over this, he'll run this with an iron fist. Absolutely. And he'll, he'll, bring, in, he'll bring in the top talent that he can bring in. Yeah. And it, Loco's, Loco is top talent. But Absolutely. He, but if he's not motivated, he's not going to do them any good. Well, you got to be scum material. you got to be in that mind frame. And if he's not in that mind frame... We've seen this over the years with Loco. Sometimes Loco just, you know, he's all out there. Hey, waves to the fans. Just in his own little world. Yeah. He needs a carrot. Yeah. He needs Austin to smack him in the face again. He does. That might help. And somebody to smack him in the face again. He needs something. And speaking of 421 having all the titles, here comes Nomad. If you noticed that though, title. over the last few months, we've seen a cut, quite a few of the wrestlers get complacent. Absolutely. That's why this new crop of talent 
is helping. Absolutely. Because they're young and they're hungry, and if you don't get that way too, well, you can't get young, but you got you got to get hungry. Or Absolutely. Yeah. You have to. It's a necessity because you're not going to make it very far. Well, I think for the longest time, we didn't have a crop of young talent for you know. Absolutely. We, and I think people got complacent in their spot, and now you've got to do your job. We've got a crop of good talent. We got a women's division now. Yeah, and if you, you don't know. step up, we got some guys that want this. Absolutely. You know, that look really talented. It looks like if, if uh, you know, they don't watch it, they're going to lose their spot. Absolutely. I think that Nomad, is, even though he's a quiet guy, he's been pretty dominant. And obviously we talked about Clutch earlier and how he's been. Father Time, yep. you know, it catches up with all of us. Yes, it does. Got Except for me. out there with him. You're just going to be immortal? I'm immortal. How? I want to know. I'm not telling. Well, then I can't be immortal. I know. Who are you going to do commentary with then? Your son. I don't have any sons. You'll have one. I can feel it. I never even had a girlfriend. I can feel it you. right in my loins. Wait a minute. That'd be your son. Yes. You're just trying to kick me out so you can do commentary with Bert. You want to know how to be immortal? How's that? Uh, never mind. All right. Yeah. This guy has something to do with this uh, Canadian singlet and the sheep's testicles. Yeah, I don't want to know about that. Okay. I'm good to go with being mortal. <laughs> That's just nuts. Yes, it is. Sheep nuts. Speaking of which, brought to you today by our sponsor... Sheep nuts. Sheep nuts. All right. From Bob Evans. Bob Evans? That's awesome. Get them while they're sizzling hot. That's right. Yes, indeed. You'd think our spots would be planners. But no. You would think so. We have to have sheep nuts. Yep. The crowd's still behind, Loco. Yes, they are. That's never been the problem, though. Fans love him. He's, a, he's this lovable, crazy guy. Well, he's, yeah, absolutely. He's, he's a hell of a talent. He really is. You know, he just sometimes that, that, needs that, that killer instinct. That crowd can't make you wrestle. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I like that belt. All right, looking up at the entrance ramp for Bert. Don't see him. Where's Bert? I don't know. He took off. I'm going to text Bert. You, t you do that. Oh, never mind. He works first shift. Yeah. I'll text him tomorrow. Ooh. Pretty belt. Absolutely. Let's see if Loco's going to take that from Nomad. You know, but I yeah. tell you, I think Nomad is going to... I think he's going to win this match. He might. He very well could. The way Loco's been going lately, I got Nomad winning this. Yep. I can see that. It's just Loco doesn't have that killer instinct. Like Where did we get this guy from, though? My goodness. No man, he's one of those 421 guys. Man. He hails from Los Angeles, California. Two, man, he, just look, he just looked like a pro wrestler. Look at him. Yes, he does. Oh, big springboard clothesline there. Yeah, I was glistening in the wind. I'm oh, sorry. Why are you drooling? I don't know. Did you go to the dentist today or I something? I did. Oh, okay. Oh, missed that drop kick. Landed on his butt cheeks. I had one of my incisors. That's not good. Take it out. That's why you're talking funny. It is. Uh-oh. Big bulldog. Heading up to the top rope. What are we going to see? Jason Katz been kind of silent, silent today, hasn't he? Nothing wrong with that. I think you caused that. I think I drugged him. Oh, there you go. Yes. Figure that'd be more effective than the other stuff. That works. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Death drop, I think it's called. It is. Ooh, drop kick right to the knee. Stomp to the side. Both well, looking pretty impressive. Ooh. Sure, no? Flippity flip. Flippity doo da. Flippity day. My own. Yeah. Giggity giggity. 
Sorry, sir. Yes, you should be. Oh, oh, to the knee. He's really working on that knee. Yeah, he is. But that's smart. If you keep Nomad on the ground, he's not a technical. He's not technically sound like Loco. Not at all. So if he can keep him on the ground, that'd be a smart move. Uh oh. One. Is this it? Two. Oh, oh and the almost. kick out. And that's the that's the thing about Loco is, you know, he, he does his high flying and stuff like that, but he can wrestle you. He can. Oh, oh. Is that a 450 moonsault? Yes, it was. Wow. One, two, oh, and three. I was wrong. We have a new Intercontinental Champion. Loco. Maybe Ruby did uh, motivate him. I guess so. Yep, I see a new scummer. This is, this is looking good. And the way 4 2 one's going, we, we might have a little battle here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for Inferno. We'll see you. Uh, wait, hold on. For Chaos? Wait a minute. Oh. We're getting a call. Something's going on in the back. Oh, really? Yeah, what, what the hell? Oh, Sean Payne layer and... I think that's DJ Edwards. What the heck? What the hell's going on here? Just hammering his head right into the cement. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Yep, we got a war. Sean Payne Lair grabbing a stop sign. DJ getting to his feet. Hammering away on Sean. Time to return the favor, I guess. I guess we got ourselves an impromptu match. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, we were. I thought we were done. I wonder whose rental that is. I have no idea. It's probably Ghost. And he ghosted it. He did ghost it. <laughs> Throw him off the... Throw him off something. It's off something, yeah. I want to see it. Wait a minute. What is DJ wearing? That's a 421. That's a 421 shirt. That's what I'm saying. Holy, you've got to be kidding me. Scum and 421's about ready to go to war, it looks like. I'm thinking you're right. Wow. This is not what I expected at all. When did that happen? I have, I, I guess now, because I never knew nothing about me it. Me either. God, I swear these guys are everywhere. I've never seen anything like this before. This is nuts. Next thing you know, we're going to be in 421. That'd be cool. Yeah, it would. Well, we, we'd have to petition a little bit better than that Brad Lee guy's been petitioning. Yeah, he's <laughs> something else, isn't he? Man, if, if I was O.C. Jad, I'd choke the shit out of him. Yeah, he's been he's been <laughs> kidding an ass of himself, man. What is wrong with him? It has been nuts. But, I, I mean, hey, he's showing that he has heart, I guess. Oh, yeah. I personally wouldn't have enough balls to sit out in O.C.J.'s car uninvited. No. To show up at his house when he's eating breakfast. It's a bunch of crap, I tell you. I think Sean just got busted open by DJ. I think so too. Man, these guys, man, they are tearing each other apart. Uh oh. Ooh, Ooh. right on the concrete. An American uh, American leg, leg sweep. sweep. Sidewalk slam. Oh, he gave him a big knee to the face. Oh, ouch. Which DJ straight to the floor. Man, this is this is vicious. Somebody's gotta get out there and stop this. Oh yeah. This guy shouldn't you don't do that. You you fight in the ring, you don't fight in the back. Yeah. Sons of bees. I'm all for it. They might get hurt. I don't care. It's not us. Good point. Kick his ass, sea bass! Right. A little violence never hurt anybody. That's right. That's what we're about here at PWA. Ooh, oh my goodness! Wow. Now that's a German suplex. That is a thousand percent. Yeah, that, that was, was wow. That was straight from 1945. You got to be kidding me! What is he doing here? Bam! Oh. I don't think DJ is going to last too much longer with moves like that. No. Sean's a tough one. Yeah, this is not really. He's done a good job of holding his own, but this is this is Sean's game right here. You don't really want to fight and brawl with Sean Payne later. No, not at all. You want to you want to use speed. You want to wrestle him, get him frustrated. Yep. But a fight. That's what he wants. Oh, oh nice cutter. Very nice. 
picking him up. What's he going to do here? Whips him onto the concrete. Like I said, Sean usually loves this, though. He likes the pain. Yes, he does. You know what? He don't just like to give it. He likes to receive it. Yes, he does. Grumpy guy. He's a grump. Probably because he doesn't get enough pain. He's tough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another cutter. Oh, my gosh. DJ beat him? DJ beat him. Oh, my goodness. He knocked out pain layer. Can you believe that? I cannot. Wow. That's surprising. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you on Chaos.